Let's go, Zach! Holy You gotta be able to climb, you gotta be able to descend, and you gotta be able to roll fast on the on the long, flat, windy sections too. You know, what this race really comes down to is who's who's able to have enough left in the tank when you get to that, you know, 30 miles, 30 miles from home and, and you get into the, the harder dirt sections and um, you know, obviously usually in the past this race is all sorted out by the time you even get to that last climb. Uh, so sometimes there's like a little bit of a change on, on double peak. Um, but usually it's it's the the 10 to 20 miles before double peak that uh um, are you know most most decisive you know as the gravel scene in america grows so does so does bwr i mean bwr is kind of at the forefront of that being one of the biggest events here so you know there's there's just a lot there's a lot of attention on gravel racing in the u.s right now um which is awesome and, and um you know, pros, these international pros coming over from, from Europe or from, from down under. And, uh, you know, if they're here for the springtime races anyway, then this is definitely a big, a big one for them to put on their list. It's become different, like, especially when the women are mixed in with the men. Like, there's a lot of people that are extremely strong for the first hour and then will kind of die off. Um, if you will, so it just makes for a really chaotic, very stressful start to pretty much any event, and BWR in particular, like there's a really kind of technical section going into a long climb and then a pretty killer descent. Um, so it's just a very like stressful period of time. In Australia, like we don't have any specific gravel riders, but you come over here and you've got like such a deep top of the field, you've got 30, 40 strong riders that can all tear your legs off and um, yeah, some of the biggest names in gravel racing all come from here and just with the sponsors, like everything behind it, it's just a bigger setup in general, bigger events, like a lot more numbers in the racing um, and a lot more technical. You know, it, it's challenging. Um, while it is like, I guess, my dream and a lot of people's dream to be doing this full time and um, traveling the world and, and it's obviously a lot of time in, in the US here. Um, it, Yeah, I can't say it's not challenging to be away from home and, and sacrifice other things. Um, I've got a young daughter, she's three years old. Um, yeah, but uh, I just hope that, you know, that my competitive uh, drive is is enough to um, kind of show her that yeah like I'm chasing chasing something and, and I'm devoting myself to to a passion and um, but yeah it's it's awesome I mean I've kind of always wanted to be able to like have a full tilt at, at being a bike racer and this is the opportunity I, I got and um, I'm trying to make the most of it. What's your cleaning process here? What? Do you, how do you break this I mean, down? the bike wasn't that dirty, so it didn't have to do all that much today. But um, just we're at the end of the process here. <laughs> like, hosed it down, scrubbed it off with soapy water, um, drying the chain, then just gonna, gonna, yeah, put new chain lube on and let it soak in, wipe it off in the morning. Tire lever. The, like wax chains and stuff, like they don't get as dirty. You know? These are bone in chicken thighs, skins on, or boneless? All right, you can't figure out what kind of chicken. 
try out and get on a team yeah. for this. They don't really have like a rec league for volleyball. Yeah. That I know. It's all yeah. like so you don't want, I don't think you showed it out in the first place you did LP for it. The first place? Yeah. But it'd be rushed. The thing is I don't want to get Alright, how's the food? Did you try it yet? I haven't tried it yet. But, but it looks amazing. It looks appetizing. Yes. How many bottles are we looking at? We'll do a few. We'll do, we'll do like maybe two high carbs. But we have to list what we actually need. But the, everything else will be just extra. Right, so you can... Marple riders, these riders will be champing at the bit. Alexi, why'd you go with the melee instead of the mob? Or fray. Really hard. Um, I was at Brian's house last night with both bikes trying to figure out what I was going to do. And at the end of the day, with the course changes, this is the faster bike. That's how the race is going to be won. I think it's going to be judged by the quality of the field. That's what you won on it in uh, 22. That, just, that doesn't mean anything, but... It means everything. <laughs> oh my god, that is a mad year bicycle. And I model everything off of it. This is one of the, the, the I was like, exact same. It's not the Did strongest you want to check out my rider. It's not the it's not the luckiest <laughs> rider. It's a rider that has a combination of those three things play out. I would take luck first to be proud of Pray for no mud. What size are these? 32s. 32 semi slicks. 32s for BWR. Semi slick. Semi slick. It's what I've ridden every year. It's always a gamble. So right. we'll see how it goes. You pray nice. that you don't hit any big rocks. It's certainly now. This triple crown is locked down with. This season starting in Arizona. Move. What's the plan? We'll see. Is you stay on Valverde's wheel, or you're trying to get, you're gonna attack him? I still have to figure out how the race unfolds. I have no idea what's what's going to happen. Nice. Very nice. What what size tires are you going with? It's, uh, 40 millimeters. 40? Oh, and you're no, going 40 as well. 40, yeah. Same exact ones. Yeah. I'm gonna try. <laughs> it's a fun course, super stoked on it. So some moisture last night. Should be running really good out there. Well, a few different names on the start list this year. Yeah, definitely. We got a bit of a stacked field. We got uh, some masters racer I've heard it's pretty quick that um, need to put some pressure on him, obviously. <laughs> definitely, definitely. Morning. Morning. Good luck today. A former skiing and superstar. This is a lethal, lethal racer. Morning. How are the nerves? Hi. <laughs> Very high. Good luck today. Thank you. All right, and now, you got to look to the future. And here is a multi-talented, multi-Whitney Allison. Glenn Morton! Alejandro Valverde! El Jefe in California! So, what an incredible start. Three, two, one!
right, Lance! Yeah, buddy! Money in. Come on, Russell. There's Sophia, first woman. First woman with Sophia, followed by Carolyn. Toby's in the lead, followed by Lance Toby, and Brendan Lance. Johnston. Lance, uh, Project Echelon, Alexi. And Griffin. Let's go, Pete. All right, Ian, doing great. Go Brendan. Go Lexi. Go, Brendan! Carolyn, let's go! Sophia's up there! Let's go! You can get her! Let's go, Lucky. Let's go, guys. Let's go, Peter. Woo! Let's go, Matt! Way to go! Man, man.
back here. To Gap's about two minutes to beers. Gap's about Kobe, two minutes. Brendan, yeah. Gap's about two minutes to beers. Adam, Truman, Alexi, Gap's about two minutes, Alexi. Carter, Kyle, Jacqueline, Peter, Peter, Griffin. Hang in there, Griffin. Go, Griffin. So Lance has just broken away from the chase group and he's solo by himself trying to, he's in no man's land between Matt Beers and the now 11 people behind him. After the Pomo Valley single track section, looking good Matt! Right up there, you got this. This is a no, hard left. Go, Matt, go! Come on, Beers! 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 Come on, You're winning this thing! Let's go, baby! You got it! All the way up! Come on! Let's go, right there, right there! Stay in the zone! Stay in the zone! It's all you! Fat gap! Looking good, guys. Looking good. Hey, dude. Alexi, let's go! Yeah. Come on! Paint face! Let's go, baby! Come on! Come on, come on! Hey, Matt is right there! He's right there! Good, keep working. Oh, good job, brother. Good job. Hey, let's go, Peter! Let's go! Hammer it! Let's go, Peter! P4! P4! Come on! Come on, P4! Hey, P4, baby! Let's go! They're just up the road, too. Let's go! Hey, Pete is just up the road. You got it. Looking good. Uh, good, good. Last couple pitches. Let's go, Brady! Come on! Come on. Hard charge it. Hard charge it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. You're looking a little dirty. Sitting in six. All the way from Norway, baby. Let's go! Hey, give him the smoke. Give him the smoke. Let's go, Sophia. Let's go. You want a Modelo? Modelo time! Get back, bro. Coming through. It's Yeah, Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. man. It's one two under five hours and thirty minutes. My kind of plan was to get the gap like as big as I could and then I knew I would be pretty smoked after into getting into double peak, you know, so my plan was to go into a buffer there and just kind of fade. I, um, I knew I would fade and I was just hoped that I faded like the correct time that I could, you know, once I crested if I had a minute. 
Yeah. I can pretty much keep it, and I think that's what it is. Well, he timed it perfectly. Obviously, he got second a couple of years ago. How does this win stack up to the rest of your rest of your career? Yeah, it's, it's amazing. Like, I've been trying to win the big gravel race now for two years, and I've been saying on my Instagram, trying to crack the American code, and uh, I'm glad I finally did. It's open. It's open. Go. I broke my saddle. I, I broke my saddle, but then I just like open it and push it. Where is it? Oh. Third. What do you need right now? Anything? Okay. Nice job, dude. You clawed that thing back. Yeah, it's bike racing. So let's see Laura Tony Moo, Mary Daly, Steve Thomas, and Robin Morgan. Good job, Alex. The last one, the man away. Who will take that pick? Every time, that little freaking riser on Hill Peaks, brother. I just wanted to catch Matt. That was so... That was a ride of a year. There is that point, Brandon Johnson. So he does it. Another quality for the Good and bad, a little back and forth. Uh, I, yeah, it was just ended up being a really hard day, and uh, I got a little excited, a few spots, and uh, I had to suffer towards the end. And up the last climb, up to Double Peaks, I kind of just, I just wanted to do my own pace and then see if I could do something up the, the steep part at the end and then but yeah the other guys stayed away and uh, yeah, just fought to the end to not get caught by anyone else. A little dirt, a little blood. But, um, yeah. How was the how's the Quest Haven to double peak climb? It sucked. <laughs> it always does. Uh, it does. Now I, I mean it was good. I was at that point I was by myself, so I was like just Doing riding. Your own thing. Yeah, basically plug in at like 300 watts and just pedal. But uh, yeah, man, I wish wish I had a little more in the tank to try and be with those guys. But I mean, in all honesty, I was I was cooked. So, listen, I don't know that that standard will ever be better. We're witnessing history being made by this Argentinian superstar, and she is just coming into the sweet spot of her career. This is not a crescendo. This is a ride who's ramping things up week after week. So it's your first BWR. Congratulations. Thank you. How are you feeling? Good. I mean... It was fun. Um, I flatted in Lake Hodges, and thank God for an insert. I uh, kind of had gotten a little bit of a gap in the single track, and then, yeah, I just knew where I had to get to, and luckily with an insert, you're kind of riding at like 10 to maybe 15 PSI, and it actually gave me a lot of traction, and uh, yeah, I got to my Swanee, we did a wheel switch, and once I got going, then right then Caroline kind of caught me, so um, it was pretty cool to not lose the lead with the flat. And then once we got into the single track, I made a dig, and I think that's where I ended up kind of winning the race. Congratulations, amazing victory. Coming to the Bay of Silver Metal, Carolina Reds, and what a ride for Caroline here.
Might not be exactly what she wanted. Nice job out there. Darn close. A third place today is a great new performance. So on the podium, work, the big South is now BWR California. This is the star of the future, Caroline Resin. Right, Courtney Shula, a silver medal winner today out of Strathfield, say, Australia. Taking a huge silver medal behind our winner, Sophia Gomez and Giovanni. Last year's winner, Heather Jackson, rides her way up into fourth place today. That's an outstanding so cool. performance from Ben Oregon. Yeah. Heather Jackson from the Canadian Battle Team. The legend is back. Leading the final spot on the podium now for our elite okay. women's event. But our top four are in. Yeah, well, Caroline was way out in front for pretty much uh, two thirds of the race, so it wasn't until um, the last sort of climbs that I caught up to her, and she actually dropped me going up double peak, and um, I caught back up to her on the on the dirt. So um, I feel sorry for her. I sat on her for the last bit, but that's racing, and you know she she made me work for it. So. Resin in second silver medal for her bronze for Courtney Sherwood and Heather Jackson. Our defending champion is back on the podium in fourth place. This is all after we just had easy King Tom Bates, a Weston, Simon, and there's Jeffrey Knowles finishing up strong. Jesus Christ! A solid ride for the pride of Fort Collins, Colorado. Fox Sports is the team. Whitney's husband has that. Whitney, look. minutes earlier, so the owls have been safely done and dusted here. And Devin Van Groeningen have finished now. Wow. Three ring circus here. Congratulations, as this is Matt Beers, Alexi Vermillion, Peter Bakoch, Peter Stetna, and Brendan Johnson, our men's top five here. The future looks bright, that's for sure. Sophia Gomez Vichafanye, Courtney Sherwell, Caroline Rezin, Heather Jackson, and Isabel King. Let's give it up for the... Galacticos off gravel out here today. Sophia, Courtney, Caroline, Heather, and Isabel. Okay, the race is over. People have gone back home. My house is now empty, and I am wrecked. I am tired. And yes, I put this on myself, inviting people over to my home, opening it up for people to work on bikes, eat food, do laundry, do interviews, do bike checks, not to mention cover the race. And now it's at the point where I can't do this alone. I need a team of people to help me. So thank you to everyone that not only was out there at the event, helping me out, helping the riders out, helping cover the race, helping PWR and all that. But more importantly, um, I, think it I think the riders did their best in the conditions out there. It is the premier event that is only getting bigger and, you know, the, the planning, the logistics, the stress on my part, the editing of the video. I think hopefully you like it and you find that it's all worth it. And I find that it's all worth it. I really would appreciate a subscribe, a like, as well as a follow on the channel, as well as the socials. We really put our heart and soul into this one. So hopefully you dig it. And until next time, this is Brian saying stay villa worthy.